okay so far we've talked about how to get the uh, pages up on all the profiles and we did that for all the profiles that we ran out we didn't run this one out uh, but what don't we have yet we don't have a main page on the site and we need to have one okay we don't just want it to be that you know we want it to be the right thing so we have to create for the first time and the only time at least a main page for each of these sites we only need to do it once you only need an index page once right but this is no good there's nothing connecting the main page to our project and there's nothing here so as far as Google knows this entire domain is one page deep because there's no connections to any other pages on this domain everything else points off the domain useless right same thing with these sites what do we have here we just had whatever it was here again one of those and our dummy page is the same thing right uh, so what do we need to do we need to create the index pages like I said one per site we only need to do it once here's the way to do that okay let's connect and let's just start we have to go through all these sites right first ones first building websites today that's right here remember about hitting the refresh you're not gonna see everything that came up okay because now we have a project here called building websites with all this wonderful stuff in it and what do we need we need to create a main page so let me take a page and I don't want it to be the index 2 in every case because the index 2 is identical on every single run it's sort of a backup of the original row of data which is good for using once but not once per website or you're gonna have four websites with identical front pages It's kind of a mess so let me just take some page deeper in something I think is cool enough for the front page it really doesn't matter what it is because again we don't expect humans to see these pages so I'm gonna take a page and just download a copy all right I took the page down and and I took it down in here because there's no index.html page here because I'm gonna rename this to index.html now okay obviously it won't affect what's on the server that one stays the same but now I can come back up to the root so I click up click up click up and now I'm in my root where I just have my old index.html file for the site which isn't any good so I get to upload to overwrite and overwrite it and now I have one that makes sense It's building websites today all right let me see let me find that website that's building websites today right and now if I go there and refresh it there now I have a page that makes sense it all works that's so cool and there we go and it's still the sitemap link points in to this except that now what's the one thing see how the sitemap is really not for the main project anymore it's for a subfolder called how to SEO sitemap okay that's what I got there so what do I want to do I want to fix this I want to make it building websites without the how to SEO because I want it to really point at the sitemap in the root I want in the root of that project right so that's the last thing I want to do and I could have done it another way but that's all right here's how I do it edit okay this is the one that I just uploaded I recognize it and I know that the sitemap links about at the bottom and where did it say you know I could do a search for it but I don't need to it's like right here just cut that part out boom that way it's the main sitemap inside the building websites folder and that way I have a link to the thing okay yep and so upload to overwrite again overwrite that's the right one the right place so now when I refresh okay there we go and when I look down here now this is the right sitemap the one just inside that particular folder and that's cool because this is kind of how everything works and starts to get connected to everything else anyway all the other sitemaps are on their sections right so it's all connected every sitemap is connected anyway okay and I just did this with a hundred pages and that's why the sitemaps are so small but that's fine doesn't matter at all so I'm off and running okay so I just need to do that with all the websites like for instance let me see building websites now is another website so now refresh because I got to get this project building websites I want to take one of these pages that belong in here somewhere and actually the ones in the roots are the ones that didn't go into our um, what we set up you know our menu was like these things right but I know that where it's saying this these are actually root pages you don't need to know that download 
it's just it's easier because the sitemap's already going to be right. Delete. That way I can rename this one to index for this particular website and go back to the root of this website, the building websites now, right here. Now I upload to overwrite. And now I can check it. Building websites now. Make sure the sitemap link is correct, the one that goes in the root. Yeah, refresh it, just, you know, just to make sure. And then there we have it. It's the right one. It is the root sitemap, which is perfectly cool. And it's on this website, and it's all good. And all the links that say marketing company or whatever they say point to me. And so everything there is perfectly cool. So let me just do that really, really fast with the other two, and I'm done. I'm never going to have to create index pages anymore. Okay. Re whoops. Don't need to make it a favorite. Just need to refresh it. There, I got it. Delete this thing. Boom. And then here we have like our building websites and they're not advertising. I've got two. Now there's the last question. What do you need to do with these main pages? Uh, the, the front page here. Let me see. I'll just take one of these. Perfect. Download. Index. Rename. Index. And then come up. Now I really have two projects, right? Not just the uh, building websites, but I also have the internet advertising. So I really want to link to both. Uh, from the main page because I need to link to both of my projects somehow that's true on all your main pages and this is why I save main pages in a separate folder too so I can just quickly add the links you gotta add a sitemap to both okay so how do we do that it's pretty easy let's go to our sitemap link at the bottom and let's just create another link doesn't have to look pretty just has to work okay and so let me see targeting equals blank font size what's it say related links now, for those of you who've never done this before, you'll get used to it. Really, all I'm doing is creating another version of this thing here. I'm just going to copy it. That's the coding for the sitemap. Now, we can answer your questions for that. It's really simple stuff. Paste it in. And the second sitemap isn't internet advertising. I've got two. It doesn't matter what order I go in. But it's backlink. Or, I'm sorry, it's build websites. Right? And I can close it. Make sure I'm correct. Oh, building websites. Edit. Yep. Got to make sure I'm right. Or else it can't connect. That's all. Building websites. Okay. And again, if you say, well, won't it look funny if you have a lot of links at the bottom like that? The answer is, who cares? For Google, it's not going to matter at all. And in our case, we don't care if people see the pages or not. And that's why it doesn't matter at all. We just want to make sure that Google's happy with it. So let me do it again. Uh, related links. Yeah, for building websites. It says related links. And then also related link. Now, you really shouldn't have the same wording, by the way. So do like related links, related links 2, related links 3, something like that. So that the wording is a little different. It's just one of those things that you ought to do. It's not 100% that you should do it at all. It's just if you do do it, it looks a little bit better to Google because the links have different words. That makes more sense to Google. That's kind of how that should go. File save. All right, and let me upload it to overwrite. That's on mojipro.com. So let me try it again. Oh, that's right. I was still inside the folder. Let me go to the main page and refresh it. Oh, this one's taking precedence because I uploaded a template. I got to break the link to the template. That's the profile link here. So I'm just going to rename it to profile1.php. That way it does not take precedence over the index.html. That way the index.html works. There. Now it's right. And guess what we have down here? Related links 1, related links 2. It's basically, it just says related links and related links 2. But one points at the building website sitemap. And the other points at the internet advertising sitemap. That way, I don't lose any of my sitemaps, right? For every project I do, I got a link. I have to have a link on some main page of the site. It doesn't even have to be the index page. It could be the About Us page, Newsletter page, Contact Us page, uh, or any one of these pages here. It doesn't matter. You could make your links right inside that page if you really want because they're connected from the main page. All you got to do is make sure that there's a way to get to everything. Okay, there's got to be some way to get to everything from the main page.
okay and if you can get to the main links here all the rest of it's gonna work because from here say I can get to the rest of it I can get to the sitemap on this page I can also get to a sitemap on one of the sub pages okay that's the whole point just got to make sure that however you do it you interconnect it up so that it'll work okay delete yes and I should be doing it as you know on all four sites and the only reason I'm not right now is I'm just walking you through it and explaining what's going on okay download rename index so just make sure to do your runs clean you know come back up to the main page there it is that's the one for the emoji dash pro subfolder and it's up and I want to make sure I have a building websites and it should so I think I'm good emoji dash pro and it's building website sitemap so it's all good now that's perfect now if you're wondering yeah internet advertising same thing now I can edit this and do this again just really quick okay from like the pipe I just got to create another version of this thing and just put it in here control C and just stick another one in boom and then this that's for the internet advertising Now, some of you guys have thought of new tricks, um, related links, and then related links to. This is just how I'm doing it. Okay, it really doesn't matter. But some of you have thought of tricks for um, making these sitemap links early. Some of you created like 10 sitemap links already in the first place, and you just numbered them. Related links 1, related links 2, related links 3, related links 4. And you had them point at folders called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So your folders are 1, 2, and so on and then inside the folders is all your keyword optimization anyway so you can do that you know don't feel limited to what we're showing you here this is just us trying to train from the ground up you know and so realize that you have all the control in the world to do it however you want to do it delete I'm done with that now so I may as well delete it so I don't get confused and now if I open my my sites uh, I can go to the main pages of them all now, how would you do that fast? Options. Control all, control C, open notepad. It's just always fun teaching shortcuts. Edit, replace. And we're going to replace everything that says slash internet advertising. May as well just be internet advertising with nothing at all. Replace all. Because it's okay if you have the slashes on there with nothing after them. It doesn't bother Firefox one bit. So now, close, and I'm just checking my main pages that way. Okay, there's a main page, there's a main page, there's a main page, there's a main, should be. Yep, there's a main page. And they're all different, which is important, because we don't want Google to see four websites that have the same front page. Okay, and that's why we always choose a random page out of a folder to make our front pages with. But now that we've created the front pages, Okay, we don't need to create front pages anymore. Uh, we only need to make sure to add links to each new project we create on the front page. Somehow or another, you got to have a way into all those projects you create, but that's it. I mean, it really doesn't take long, so it's really not an issue. Okay, there's more ways to do things like that too, but there you have it, and so far so good. So, uh, oh, I know what I'm going to teach you next. It's going to be the subdomains where you create... You know, you take a project you created, like your building websites project. That was our project. And we want to make that dot moji-pro.com. Things like that. And do that for all our websites. So that'll be the next bit we train over. Because, again, it seems like that's got to be incredibly hard to do. And the answer is no, it's a piece of cake. And I'll just show you how you do it. Okay?